everyone thanks for dropping by today this is my final video for the year 2021 and i'm here to showcase all the work that i've done this year and this is actually all the work i've done in the hobby if you didn't know i started this hobby in may of 2021 so roughly seven months ago and this is everything i've done since so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started do a little run through real quick now i'll do some talking in the end but we've got newest or oldest in order now some of these are still a work in progress but i'm going off of date here so newest come around down goes back loops up swings around down here and boom the final so let's get started this is my very first ever build uh, towards the end of this video, actually at the end of the video, I'll show you guys what my desk first looked like when I started this hobby. And you'll be able to see the box that this kit came in on my desk. Uh, but this is my very first build. I had no idea about primer. Uh, I used really cheap like apple barrel paints and stuff like that pink one down there uh, from Walmart. Which, you know, there's no nothing wrong with that. Um, but... Looking back, I would have totally done this differently. Uh, definitely, definitely not uh, not the greatest. But for a first build, I think it's okay. Especially since I went out of my way and made power lines and added these little lamp posts right there. Thought that was really neat. So, first build, not bad. Then my first actual handmade diorama was using a old toy I had. I got a bunch of boxes from my childhood and I was going through them one day and I found this, uh, this tank. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna put it to some use. So uh, if you haven't seen the video, it's up on my channel. Um, I basically made it look destroyed. So moving along, got Operation Barbarosca. Have not completed this one yet. Then we got my first Vietnam diorama. My first Chechen war diorama. Now, it's kind of funny. This is my first Chechen war, right? This is about the first Chechen war, but it's also my first ever Chechen war diorama. Move on to my first ever Korean war diorama. The second battle of the Naktong Bulge. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Then we got my second Korean war diorama which was actually a standalone at first, uh, but I completed this uh, Pershing for my son back September 3rd, I think is when I completed it. No, the 4th, I'm sorry, I completed it the 4th. But that was a standalone, then I made the base for his room. Next, we have my first ever standalone tank, was a T-34, and this has always been a project I wanted to include into a battle for Berlin. I just haven't gotten around to making the actual diorama. I'm going to be doing that in April. Next, we have my Tyrant 5. The standalone panther that I hand-painted. Would definitely do differently now that I have an airbrush. But... The next we have the outskirts of Kane, the Hitler Youth, uh, 12 SS Panzer Grenadiers. Have the Hurton Forest. We have a work in progress battle for Vietnam, um, downed plane. I just worked on this one today, actually. Then we have the Point Du Hoc, my first ever big, expansive build. All the other ones were quite small. This is my first ever, this one took me like three and a half, four weeks to do. So first ever major build. Next we have the Battle of Kursk. Vietnam War, Operation Atlanta. Took that one to the IPMA show in Arizona, as well as the second Chechen War diorama, which was about the second Chechen War. Also took this one to the IPMA show in Phoenix. Next we have the work in progress part two of the Battle of the Bulge series, which I'll be doing after uh, sometime in January. Battle of France. The first part of my Battle of the Bulge series, American point of view, Bastogne. Come over here. We have the invasion of Poland. 
some World War One battery uh, artillery pieces, Battle for the Pacific, a little standalone car that I did, the MASH helicopter. I also, I don't have the AAV with me because that was a commission build. It's currently in the hands of its owner. And then last but not least, my final build. First ever finished World War One diorama. What a hell of a way to end the year. So, if you haven't seen, I put that video up on my channel today. But going from first ever diorama to my most recent one, I'd say we've done pretty good. Going from handwritten to from no signs to handwritten signs on wood to paper handwritten and then to having actual printed out plaques that I do at home. Pretty neat stuff. So I know on my YouTube channel it says I joined like three years ago. This is an older YouTube account that I had just for viewing pleasure but obviously now I use it for posting. Uh, I'm very happy with how far I've come with the hobby. I've learned quite a bit, made quite a few friends, learned a lot, and what better way to spend your time than building plastic. Got all these kits here to build on. A lot of projects set for 22. I'm normally not a big fan of the whole like, uh, like yearly bit. Like people are like, oh, it's gonna be great in 2022 or whatever. But I've seen a lot of guys doing videos about the end of the year builds. I thought, you know what? That's something I would happily hop on, hop on that train and show off what I've done within seven months. This is working a full-time job having a family and this is basically all I do in my free time, this and a little bit of Xbox. So, but happy to, uh, happy to be here. Looking forward to, you know, 2022 and all the builds that'll come with that. The projects coming up within the first quarter, I would say definitely the Battle of the Bulge with the King Tiger got a commission build I need to do. It's a M777 howitzer. Got the German 150 millimeter self propeller artillery gun that's going into a group build. And then from there, I'm not too sure. Probably after that, I'll do the Afghanistan diorama. I'm eventually gonna do the invasion of Iraq. I got the M1 Abrams for it. Then I recently got this kit in the mail that was supposed to get here in March, believe it or not, but it got here yesterday. Marines in Iraq, 2003. But yeah, that's, uh, man, what a hell of a year. It's been great. This next year, uh, towards the fall, I will be slowing down quite a bit. Uh, I'll be moving my family across country. We currently live on the West Coast due to work, switching jobs in the fall. So I'll be getting out of Cali, moving somewhere in the Midwest. Uh, as you know, if you've seen my previous videos, super young family, trying to move everything. It's gonna, it's gonna be quite the big deal. About a good solid month of not posting more than likely. Between packing, moving, unpacking, and getting settled. It's gonna it's gonna be a ride so that'll be we should be moving in early october so expect my last diorama of the year will probably be the invasion of poland so i'm going to be doing that one in september for the anniversary that'll probably be my last diorama i build before our move uh maybe one more after that maybe but chances are that'll be the last one and then once we move, we get settled in, I imagine somewhere beginning of November. Uh, holidays be coming around, I'll be starting a new job, and I, I highly doubt there'll be many builds out after that. So, just so y'all are aware, uh, that way, 
you know, I'm sure I'll say it again a time or two more once it uh, once it comes closer. But that way you guys kind of know what to expect from me. But as of right now, uh, you know, I'll still be building up until I'm getting ready to move. I've got plenty of kits to do so. So, but uh, thanks again for all the support you guys give me. I think we're at 157 or 58 subscribers last I checked, which was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, going from, you know, one subscriber, which was one of my buddies, to 150, put in your number, because I'm not sure exactly which one we're at yet. Uh, quite the difference. Um, pretty happy with where we're at. So anyways, I'm going to hop off my soapbox. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. My wife got me a Christmas present that came in a little late. It's a German, it's a hoodie, right? But it's the German splinter camo, uh, Bundes Schmitz uh, splinter camo, I believe is how, how you pronounce it. But this is one of my favorite camos from World War II and she got it for me in a hoodie, so super neat but thanks again everyone i will be seeing you guys here in a few days in 2022 all right fellas here's my first ever setup just like i promised and here's the current one uh, i went back and checked we are at 158 subs so thank you there's me and my jacket and i decided to throw some pictures of the family that i've gotten throughout the year um, mainly of my son and i there's a few of my wife in there Final picture is one of uh, the maternity photos. So, hope you guys have a wonderful new year. Be safe, be happy, model on, and I'm excited to see what this next year brings us all. Catch you guys later.